man. Here with uh, Sam from uh, Down by Law. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all good. laughs> um, super stoked to see you guys tonight. Half the people I've talked to have seen you guys before. Oh, cool. uh, so you guys definitely got a good fan base. I've never seen you guys before. I checked you guys out a couple months ago, mm. and I watched like a ton of live videos. And y'all said yourself that one of y'all's biggest songs is a cover. Yeah. How did uh, that come about? To where y'all, uh, you know, wanted to cover that song and. Um, our drummer at the time, it was his idea, and uh, it, this was in the 90s, so the song was still current. It was still being played on the radio, so I actually thought it was a really bad idea. And he was like, well, let's do the song, he just liked it for whatever reason, and we'll make it uh, more punk, you know, we'll, we'll speed up the choruses. And um, yeah, I just, I didn't think it was a good idea, but I was wrong, because it, it's by far our biggest song, you know. We did a video for it that was on MTV, you know, a fair bit, and, um, and that's that's the one everybody remembers you know i mean there are others as well but you guys got a lot of good music too yeah i appreciate it yeah it's just you know that's got to bring it up because you know it, it is your most successful song um and yeah there's, there's something to that formula of taking a song and, and turning it into and it is that, your own way yeah. yeah yeah you turn it into that kind of that punky kind of thing i mean there's bands do it a lot now there's whole bands that their whole catalog is that like me first and the gimme gimme is that's their whole shtick is they take songs and punk them up like that so i guess we we're kind of early on the boat with that one you know oh yeah um so i know you guys have been around for a while uh what do what do y'all like to do now i mean are you, are you kind of focusing more on like little small tours like you're doing right now are you kind of wanting to do bigger tours like what, what's your focus right now making music i mean well yeah we all we all have our own other we have other projects i have another project called black valley moon uh we're pretty busy it's like a surfy rockabilly cramps kind of thing we're putting out records and playing a lot around here and dave has a band called don't sleep he's the singer he has another band called don't sleep and okay. uh, and another band called the Bandolero. So we're busy with a lot of stuff, but we kind of make it a point to gather and do down by law stuff um, and not let that go by the wayside because that's that's our that's the one we're most known for, you know. So we keep putting out records, we're pretty consistent. Um, you know, there was a while there, almost every year we had a new record. Now it's kind of maybe every two years, you know. And actually, the reason Dave is here and the reason we're doing these shows is because he was down recording vocals for our new record. So um, putting out new music is a big thing with us. Um, so we keep it coming out, recording, recordings. Um, but live shows, uh, we just try it once in a while, you know, and see if it works. If it's convenient and people hit us up to do it and it works and makes sense, we can get off whatever we're doing and we'll do it, you know? Yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you, dude, a lot of the time, like, you know, it's hard to get a good crowd on a Sunday night and there's a decent amount of people here. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, you guys. That's, that's cool. You guys have a big impact on a lot of people. Like, I, I try to talk to a lot of people before I interview them and see how what, what other people think. And everybody said positive things. You know, oh, they said, awesome. you know, you, your music's not, not just the cover, but the, yeah. the original stuff has yeah. impacted them and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's cool. How did you guys form? I mean, uh, have you guys known each other for a while? Yeah, well, so the band consists mainly of myself and Dave at this point, or the core members. Um, he started the band in 1990 in Los Angeles. He has a long history with a lot of really legendary bands, you know, all and Dag Nasty and DYS. So he was in LA and he started a band. I don't even think it was a very serious thing. He just had some songs he wanted to get out. And he used another band as his backing band. And they put out a couple records. And then I joined in 1990. 1993 I think I was just out of high school I just wanted to I was a fan of his I was looking to be in a band that was more established so um, I connected with him just through mail because it's before email and all that stuff I just wrote a letter and ended up uh, joining the band that way so and you know he and I just that's crazy too like cause, I mean you never really hear about that happening now uh, it was but such a wild thing. back then I feel like it's definitely more like natural, you know, I mean, you can't just meet anybody you want to on the internet now, you know what I yeah, mean? You yeah, kind of yeah. have to make that connection. Like you said, you reached out, sent like, you know, letters and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's really awesome to hear actually. Um, yeah. So, I mean, like, like you said, been around, band started, what, 1990? 1990, I've been in since 93. 93, yeah. yeah. So pretty much almost since the beginning. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so what's what's some some of your favorite moments, uh, not necessarily just touring, but in general with the band that you've had over the past, like, I don't know, 20-something years at this point? Um, Could be been shows. so many. That's so, so I know, yeah. dude. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I met... Uh, I met Joey. I met so many cool people. You know, um, you, you just you do it long enough, you end up meeting so many crazy people. And like I met uh, Joey Ramone. Had a few words with him. He's very nice. I met uh, um, 
Pete Shelley from the Buzzcocks. We toured with them. That was huge, you know, and um, got a lot of stories from him. I remember one night, it was my birthday in my 20s. I don't remember which birthday, probably like 25 or something. Okay. And for my birthday, I just sat in the Buzzcocks tour bus and Pete Shelley sat across from me and he just told me about all the old English punk stuff about his time, you know, hanging out with the Sex Pistols yeah. and the dance That's and awesome. all this. That was my night, my birthday night. That was amazing. Uh, on that same tour we met, I met one of the guys from the New York Dolls, which is another band that I love, you know, and stuff like that is, is really something else. That you know, is awesome. That was 25. You're at 25. I yeah. was about 25. Yeah, I'm 26 was, now. And that just sounds like unreal right now. Oh, dude, that's, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah. So, but I mean, it goes and goes from there, dude. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so many of my favorite people, you know. Hell yeah. Um, so what's some bands that you kind of, uh, you look up to? I always like to ask people that to kind of end off. Like, what's some bands that you, that kind of inspired you, that made you into the person you are today, musician, you know? Yeah. Well, the number one is always going to be Van Halen, because that's what made me start playing guitar. Oh, yeah, dude. I always thought he was the coolest guy in the world. And, uh, let's see, from there I would go... I, from there I got into punk, you know, and that would be, uh, well, I mean, Dave's bands like Dak Nasty. Before that, bands like Minor Threat, you know, those were all, um, you know, my life went in phases. When I was very, very young, I liked guitar and rock, and then I, when I was 14 to 20-something, it was all about punk, you know, so there's a lot of bands there. And then I kind of got back more into the 70s rock thing now, so these days I listen to, like, a lot of Rory Gallagher, Thin Lizzy. Oh, there's a time I was listening to a ton of metal, too, so... A lot of phases in there, man. Yeah, I love, I love like uh, Celtic Frost and Morbid Angel. Those are some big. Oh, ones dude, too. Morbid Angel, yeah, bro. That was probably one of my biggest videos that I've had on my channel. It's like oh, bet. top five favorite bands. And then they, play, they play with Revocation. Oh, or, dude, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I like it a lot because I was in, I'm in Tampa, so I grew up with all that stuff. Obituary, I know, you know, I've toured with those guys. I, I was in Massacre for a while. I was in a death metal band, and up. So, I, you know, but Morbid Angel is a big one for yeah, me, dude. you know, I love his guitar. He's kind of like, to me, he's, Trey is like the Eddie Van Halen of death metal. I agree, <laughs> <You know>? 100%, <laughs> Just in style. That's accurate, it. 100%. Yeah, so. Um, so to end off, what's some things you guys got planned for the rest of the year? I know this is the last stop on the uh, current little tour you're doing. Um, yeah. Are you guys going to kind of just chill? Are you going to uh, try to do like a little other tour? You, you, you just do things as they come to you? I mean, what's the, what's the plan? We tend to do things as they come to us. Um, Sometimes I get proactive and try to set stuff up, but most of the time we're trying to just do what comes to us because we have so much other things going on. But um, what's coming up immediately is this, getting this record done. This has been a really slow and difficult one, a lot of hangups. So finally getting the recording done and getting it put out, that's a big thing for us. And um, after that, who knows, you know, out of these, our, our method is to kind of test the waters every couple years, see how people feel about us. You know, we'll go play a couple shows here, and if they're good, then we'll do some more, you know, until they stop being good, then we'll take a break, break, you know. And this this was four shows, and um, they were something, they were, last night in Tampa um, was like the best show we've had in like 15 years. It was crazy. So Hell yeah. it definitely gave us a positive outlook on playing, you know. So who knows, you know, uh, we, we, I think we'll probably do some more stuff like that. But Hell the yeah. record, record number one, and then after that, uh, we'll see, you know, basically. Well, last question. How did you guys uh, come up with your name? That was Dave. Um, but here's the craziest story. Before I, I was in Down By Law, when I was in like eighth grade, I was in a hardcore band with my friend. And he was the singer. And he um, idolized New York hardcore bands, like uh, Agnostic Front, yeah. Sick of It All and stuff. So that was his thing. And he named the band. Anyway, he named the band my my childhood band down by law so i was in a band called down by law and uh, already and he he got it from uh, a metallica lyric there's okay. a line that says down by law and i believe totally unrelated years later i joined dave smalley's down by law and i think dave got it from the movie full circle man yeah it's crazy yeah he got i think he got it from the movie down by law the jim jarmusch movie um, okay so i would say that yeah oh yeah well <laughs> Appreciate you guys, man. Down by law, I found, like I said, I, I found out about you guys not too long ago, but you know, you gained yep. a fan here. Yep, uh, I've been listening it. to you nonstop, watching live videos and stuff. So super stoked to see you guys tonight thank for the first so much, time. Man. And uh, I'll definitely out. buy some merch and stuff as well. But appreciate it. thank you so much for chatting with me, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot, dude.